guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And today my name is going to finally mean something <laughs> because I'm going to be eating a lot of dolce or should I say sweets. Here's an example. Today I'm doing a crazy video. I am going to show you basically an advent calendar haul where I even taste at least one chocolate from every single advent calendar that I bought. So all of these are chocolate advent calendars and I have seven advent calendars. Yes, seven. And they're all different except two of them are similar because one of them is like the deluxe version of another one. So I'm even gonna show you options like that. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Here is the first advent calendar in this advent calendar Christmas haul. So first things first, this is a new one for me and this is the Ferrero Golden Gallery advent calendar. How cool is this? I've never seen a Ferrero advent calendar, but my sister bought this for her and I on Amazon. These are all Canadian prices, by the way, so this was $17.99 Canadian. All these advent calendars are, of course, 24 days, so you get a chocolate in each day. Now, this is a deluxe edition, so you're going to be getting whole-size gourmet chocolates. I will show you the back here. You should always look on the back when getting an advent calendar because it is a great indication of what you're getting. So I will just read these off to you. The first one says crispy wafer with a smooth hazelnut filling and whole almond. The next is white chocolate with a crunchy almond filling. The next is milk chocolate covered wafer with creamy coffee filling. Mm. Another one is fine dark chocolate with a hazelnut center. The next is a fine dark chocolate a milk chocolate with hazelnut and nougat center, and last but not least, the typical Ferrero Rocher fine hazelnut chocolate. Believe it or not, I'm not a huge fan of just the plain Ferrero Rocher that much. I don't know why, but I love their variations. They're so good, and it's so nice to have a deluxe advent calendar where you're getting a luxury chocolate every day. Now, what I'm going to be doing is opening the first one of all these advent calendars and showing you the first day. I don't feel too bad doing this because I won't even be home for the first day of December. I will still be on vacation so that works for me so here's day one let's show you that I'm opening this I've never opened these before all these were wrapped in plastic by the way as well so they're extra safe this is my day one chocolate this one looks like the Ferrero tenderly toroncino so milk chocolate with a hazelnut and nougat center that sounds really good so let's give this baby a try <laughs> I didn't quite get the nougat center. I got more just the hazelnut center. It was just like a chunk of hazelnut. So if you like hazelnuts, that's great. Furrow, I believe is the same company that does Nutella. So it was a lot hazelnut inspired. And I'm actually quite excited to see what I get on each of the days. It looks like such a cute advent calendar. And I honestly feel like 24 of these gourmet chocolates for that price was pretty good. Advent calendars, you're not necessarily getting so much bang for your buck just because they're wrapped in such a cute way and packaged so nicely that you sort of pay a lot for that as well. But I just think that this was so cute and I've never seen a Ferrero advent calendar before. I thought it was so unique and special. So I actually really like this one. Next, let's do a more familiar one. This is something that you can buy at most grocery stores or even drug stores. This is the Lint advent calendar. It looks really cute with little Santa Claus and his elves on it. A couple of them have different designs, which is cute as well. Now here is the back. And they show you what you're getting. They don't say the quantities, but I'll read them off. You get the Lint Solid Milk Balls. You get the Lint Teddy. You get the Lint Double Milk Mini Balls, which I actually like, those are really good. You get the Lindor Mini Milk Balls. You get Lint Milk Napoleons, which is just the plain milk chocolate. Lint Teddy Friends Double Milk, which is really cute as well. And you get Lint Hazelnut Cream Balls, which is super nice. I feel like definitely on day 24, you're going to be getting the Teddy Bear 100%. I can already tell that it's bigger. And I've had this from experience, so I already know it's pretty good. Door number one. This little mini milk ball. <laughs> this is so cute. You can see on the back that I believe this is the Lint Hazelnut Cream Ball. This is sort of like the baby version of their bigger truffles, which is really cute as well. So, mmm, mm-hmm, very good. 
I didn't even mention the price of this. This is actually on sale for $9.99. So I think this is really good. If I did have a complaint to make, I would say it would have been nice if they did include their large truffles. A couple large gourmet truffles would have really gone a long way here. I know that they do have the big teddy bears, which is nice, but Lint is famous for their large truffles, maybe even including like a candy cane or a gingerbread flavor to keep it more festive would have been really nice. Of course, the box would have had to be a lot bigger <laughs> if that was the case, but Kinder does a big box because they include their eggs, so I'm gonna show you that one coming up next. Now for Kinders, I have two, but I'm going to eat them both, and actually, this is a good comparison. This year at Costco, we found these deluxe advent calendars. They even had a deluxe lint one as well, but one is good enough for me, but I love Kinder. And then when my boyfriend saw that I had this Kinder, he went out and bought himself one, but I would have shared this with him because I have so many, but this is actually a good comparison. You can see the price, this price is basically double. So this price was $10, this price was $20 for this deluxe Kinder. And let's just see what you get in them. Okay, I can already see that this one has a couple more deluxe items. So let's start with the large one first. And it even tells you how many you get, which is actually super cool. So you get two large Kinder surprises, which is fantastic. You get two Kinder Country, which I've never seen in an, a little advent calendar before. It doesn't have that in the small one, which is super nice. Then you get, they say six times two, so maybe even in each day, instead of just getting one, you get two of these Kinder Chocobombs. I love these, these are so good. I eat them around Easter time. They're like the Easter egg sort of style, which is really good. Then they have the Kinder Chocolate, which is super nice. It is just those long sticks of the Kinder Chocolate. Love that. And then you get eight Kinder Hollow Santas, which is actually a lot. Can you believe how fantastic this is? Wow. The one thing I won't be listing, guys, is the calories because who cares? It's Christmas time, right? <laughs> now, since this is still fresh in our mind, before I even try the big one, I'm going to show you the little one as well. You can already tell the size difference. I should even read the grams. Okay, so this is 182 grams for the small one, and the big one was 350 grams, which is great. Again, a lot of information will be in the description down below, so check that out. Now, the back of this, in comparison to the big one, since it's still fresh in our minds, we get one Kinder Surprise, then we get nine Kinder Mini Eggs, which is cute. That one we had eight Santas, this one we have two Santas, we have nine Kinder Chocobons, and three Kinder Chocolate. So I guess these little mini eggs are more of the filler in this set, since the other one was more luxurious. So there you go. Let's see if the big one is worth it. Let's open day number one. Right. For me. Aw, cute. Day number one is a Santa. So right off the bat, we get a little bit festive here. Love that. Little Santa Claus. So cute and festive. I love when they put a really nice one in the first day because I just feel like that really sets the tone for the holidays. It's one of those Santas where you can sort of like cut them in half, so that's what I'm gonna do, so you can still see the front after, you see? Oh, I broke him off. <laughs> I killed Santa, aww. Mm. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it is the chocolate from the shell of a Kinder egg. Mm. Okay, and now time to open the little baby Kinder. Let's see what the day one is for the little one. You know what, it actually looks pretty good as well because it's long, oh and look, it is this Kinder. I love these ones. Let me grab it out of this packaging. Ta-da! <laughs> this was a nice chocolate for day one. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's better, the Santa or this? Mmm. I love these. That chocolate was super good, super creamy. The milk chocolate basically tastes like a white chocolate inside, but it's more creamy. And the outside is, of course, a nice milk chocolate. They are so delicious. So I would say so far that these two are even a tie, but of course, the bigger one is more luxurious. So I'm sure all December long, I will be enjoying that one. Maybe more than this little one. Next, we are going to be doing a Reese's. I think that this was such a cute advent calendar. This was actually a find from my boyfriend. So babe, sorry, I'm eating your day one. <laughs> but he didn't know until I told him afterwards. I said, you have to look at the back because it's a good indication of what you're going to get. Unlike most advent calendars, this one actually goes up to day 25 as well. You can see this big opening here. Now on day 25, 
It even says what you get. You get this candy, which believe it or not, it's sort of like a mix between a Reese's and a Turtles, which are almost my two favorite chocolates ever. But I'm not a huge fan of this one. I don't know why. But I really do love these little ones. However, you get 24 of them, and I think that Reese's has a couple of variations on things. So they could have made this a lot more fun and creative. They have like the wafers and the little like Reese's pieces, like M&M looking candies. So they could have made it a little bit more creative in that sense. So I know what I'm going to be getting in day one. And my boyfriend picked this up because he thought like the scenery looks so cute with the little penguins and things like that. So I mean, it takes sort of the mystery of the advent calendar out of things because you could just buy yourself a bag of Reese's and eat one a day and that's really what it is. Part of the fun in an advent calendar is not knowing what's behind every door. So I already know what I'm getting, so it's less fun. But day number one. I guess you don't know what color is coming out because <laughs> there are a couple different colors. So a little Reese's cup is in day one. Now I'm not complaining because I love, I mean I am complaining, but I'm not complaining that much because I love a Reese's pieces. Mm. Even throwing in like a big Reese's cup because these are like the little ones could have been nice. They could have done a lot with this. So Reese's, I love your chocolate, but I'm not impressed with your advent calendar this year. Next advent calendar is this beautiful preset advent calendar. Now this comes with dark chocolate and sea salt and milk chocolate with caramel. My sister and I picked this up at Winners Home Sands or Home Goods for you Americans. I believe this is a UK brand, so they probably have these uh, places in the UK. Yes, it says made in Great Britain. I just think this advent calendar is the prettiest because it opens it up and it says their whole pre-stat story to you and that is where you open it up and you find all your chocolates which is super nice and creative now it would have been nice if these would have been truffles because I believe they do have a truffle brand I was searching online but we didn't get them here so that's okay but this is apparently filled with pre-stats award-winning dark chocolate with sea salt and indulgent milk chocolate infused with caramel Ta-da! Ooh! Is this milk? I think this is milk chocolate. Yummy! Okay, so let's try this. Mm, this has caramel, I believe. Mmm! Wow, I was expecting this to burst open with caramel, but it's really just caramel flavored milk chocolate. I kind of want to cheat and open day number two. <laughs> Should I do it? I'm just going to peek to see if it's different because I do want to try the other one as well. Okay, good. <laughs> So the other one is their dark chocolate. I have to try this as well. This is in day number two. It's just dark chocolate with sea salt. Let's try. You can hear it so hard. Mm. Okay, so now that I've tasted both of these, I can say that this is really good chocolate. They're just basically solid milk chocolate with caramel flavor and solid dark chocolate with sea salt flavor. So I feel like it's not that creative and exciting. I wish that these were a little bit better. Like I said, they did have an amazing truffle advent calendar. So if you do find that one, I'd probably suggest buying that over this. But if you're a purist and you just like chunks of chocolate, sometimes when I'm craving chocolate, I just want chocolate, nothing else in it, just pure chocolate. I would say that this is for you. But if you like more of those exciting flavors, I would say maybe skip this. But the packaging is beautiful and the chocolate does taste delicious. Next, I also found this one at Winners Home Sense or Home Goods for you Americans. This is German chocolate. They even have some German directions on the back. Oh yes, and it's from Germany. But I got this chocolate because look how cool it is. They have gourmet truffles. Finally, I will read you each flavor. They have the name in English and German. Pretty cool. So this one is Caramel Nougat Truffle. You also get these deluxe Santa Claus and Little Angel chocolates on the 6th and last day, the 24th. So that's really nice. Then they have Cherry Truffle, Almond Marzipan. Marzipan is almond flavored, basically like sugar paste. So good. Coffee Brandy Truffle, Punch Truffle, which I don't know what that is. Interesting. Jamaica Rum Truffle. Mmm, chocolate and rum is a good combination. Then they have one called Advocat Souffle Truffle. I don't know what that is. Maybe the English translation is not right. Then they have Bitter Orange Truffle. I love orange chocolate. Pineapple Coconut Truffle. Mmm. Mocha Truffle and Marc de Champagne Truffle. Wow. So this one's super exciting. I'm definitely excited to open day number one because I have no idea what is going to be inside. Ooh, ooh, oh my god, is this the marzipan one? Oh, if it is, these people know me so well. <laughs> Let's check it out. Yeah, oh my god, I think this is the marzipan one. Oh, it has a little knot on the back. The marzipan is like my favorite thing in the world, so this is so appropriate that it's day number one. 
Mmm. Okay, so I love that one. I probably love it maybe the best just because it's something that's different. It's German chocolates and they're all truffles and they're all different. That was one of my favorite advent calendars. Now guys, if I can say which advent calendar I would get, I've always been a fan of the Kinder ones. I've had that one last year as well, so I would definitely get one of the Kinder ones. Either the deluxe or the small version, I feel like it is a good bang for your buck. The Reese's one, I love Reese's, but I wish that they were a little bit different, so maybe I would pass on that, even though I am going to enjoy the Reese's every day. Wish they were different. The preset one, like I said, it's pretty much just plain chocolate, so it could have been a little bit more creative, so maybe pass on that. Definitely the Lindor one is for all of you who love Lindor, but I just sort of, I had them last year and the year before, and I keep getting Lindor, so I mean, that can really go in the, either way. That's sort of like the middle ground. I would definitely get the Ferrero one because I haven't seen that anywhere and I haven't had that before either. And I really do like how the Ferrero gives you basically a gourmet truffle in every day as well. I think that is a fantastic. Like I said, this last German chocolate brand, if you find any advent calendar that has sort of gourmet truffles in it, definitely do that. Even if it's a bit more money, it's a sort of more of a splurge. But at the end of the day, it gives you something super exciting to look forward to and you won't get sick of these chocolates because literally every day is gonna be something different. So guys, I really hope you did enjoy Enjoy this advent calendar review I love advent calendars I always have last year this time of year was sort of depressing for me so I think that's why I went crazy this year and I just want to get a lot of fun advent calendars because this year I feel like I have the joy of Christmas back in my heart so I'm super happy about that so guys if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and let me know that you do and maybe I can even make this a yearly thing as well who knows? Of course, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you guys celebrating. Don't forget that if you shop for Advent calendars in December, they'll pretty much be 50% off. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I haven't seen you in so long! This Advent calendar is definitely not for her. No chocolate for the doggies. How much was this, Jules? No, 15, wasn't it? Okay, but I got this chocolate because look at this. Oh, I think I cut this open when I was ripping the plastic off. Oh, no. <laughs> That's okay. It's just the back.